everyone, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist here to talk about what to do if you don't have dental insurance or if you currently can't afford dental work right now. What should you do? Going to the dentist without insurance can be really expensive depending on what type of dental work your smile needs. So if dental insurance is completely out of the question for you right now, the good news is that there are low cost dental options available for people who don't have insurance coverage. And before we get too deep into talking about how to see a dentist without insurance, it's important to know that even dental insurance itself doesn't cover everything. Dental insurance benefit amounts have not risen with the cost of living as we've seen with medical insurance. For example, the maximum Minimum dental insurance coverage is about 1500 It's the amount that caps out at every year, which was the same as it was in the early 1980s. Dentistry prices have gone up since then, like everything has gone up since the early 80s, but dental insurance coverage has stayed the same. They didn't evolve with the times, so definitely something to keep in mind. If you don't have insurance, it doesn't always mean that you're missing out. Dental insurance really isn't the only answer to getting quality dental care. So what are some of the other ways to see a dentist without insurance? Of course, save up in advance and pay cash. If you have healthy teeth and you're only getting routine cleanings and exams, sometimes paying out of pocket for these routine preventative appointments can equal out to what you would pay if you were paying for monthly insurance out of pocket. However, if you're someone who gets cavities and needs work done, sometimes you can piecemeal treatments or prioritize therapies. Say you need two crowns. Maybe get one this year and get one next year, depending on the severity of each one. Or of course, use a credit card. Maybe get both crowns done right now because they are both super advanced and need to get done ASAP to save your teeth. If so, it's often worth using your own personal credit to make your own personal payment plans at your own pace. If you can, maybe using your own personal credit card isn't an option for you right now. Ask your dental office if they offer any payment plans within their own office, or maybe they offer third-party credit programs. Lots of offices do, they just don't advertise it. So just ask if they offer credit programs or payment plans. And some offices even offer reduced non-insured pricing, where they cater to their patients without insurance to help them out by providing affordable programs in office. Again, some offices have these programs set in place, but you won't know unless you ask. So my best advice is to simply ask your dental office. Ask them, do you happen to have any credit programs or non-insured pricing options? Now, if that's not a thing, another option to use is a dental savings plan. This is something you would purchase yourself online. I will link a dental savings plan website in the description box of this video if you'd like to learn more. If your office doesn't offer any payment plans or credit services, these dental savings plans are simply similar to having your own insurance, but instead it's basically a discount program. You just have to put in your zip code and see which dentists in your areas accept the plans. Some do and some don't. You just have to check online. A company that does this really well is called One Dental. They are a little different than most dental plans because they offer two plans for the price of one. I'm super happy to include them in this video. Thank you One Dental for sponsoring this portion of the video. I will of course include all of their information in the description box if you'd like to learn more. But back to the video. I actually used a discount plan myself all throughout high school and it really worked for me. I was lucky enough that my childhood dentist did accept one of these plans, so I didn't even have to switch dentists when I no longer had insurance as a teenager. So those dental savings plans are definitely worth looking into. Again, I'll put the website in the description box. Another thing you can do, and this is especially a good option if you're not connected to a dentist and you're not trying to stay at your same office, seeing a specific dentist is not a priority of yours, you can consider visiting a low cost dental clinic. If you need dental work done, depending on where you live, there's lots of local, low cost or even free dental clinics. You just have to find them. And to help with that, I'll link the US Department of Health and Human Services and the Dental Lifeline websites. Both are great resources to find dental clinics in your area. These clinics may have a waiting list or sometimes they even have certain income criteria to meet to register for an appointment. However, others may not have any requirements. You can just schedule an appointment with no questions asked and you'll find all that info on their websites. And having said that, it's not uncommon to find a one or two day dental clinic event where community dentists either open their practice or come together to run a public clinic to provide charity dentistry. Most charity dental events do tend to be a first come, first serve treatment process, so you would need to get there early and wait, but it's definitely an option if you have the extra time. Speaking of if you have the extra time, another great place to get free or low cost dental work is at dental schools and or dental hygiene schools in your area. To get work done at a school, you'll never have to qualify for a government or a low cost program. Even if you have dental insurance, the care you receive at a dental school can often still save you money. And whenever I bring this option up to one of my patients who might be putting off a dental procedure due to finances, they always respond with something like, but 
why on earth would I want to have my teeth worked on by a student? I want someone who knows what they're doing, right? But the thing about that is that dental and dental hygiene schools get plenty of practice in before they start seeing patients. Not only do they work on each other and their families ahead of time, they're also closely monitored by experts in the dental field who are right there in the room with them and their work has to be perfect to get a passing grade. So I might dare to say that you're getting some of the best dental care possible at a school. But the one trade-off about going to a school is time. They are longer appointments since they are getting graded and there's lots more paperwork involved. And for some of us, time is money if we're having to take off work. But if you have a few extra hours to sit and you want high quality dental work done, going to a dental or dental hygiene school is an excellent option to consider. So in all, as frustrating as it can feel, there are several ways to see a dentist if you don't have dental insurance or if you're low on cash at the moment. Finding affordable dental care is out there if you dig a little. So I've linked all the websites I mentioned earlier. And in addition, I will link my no insurance, no problem article as well, where I list even more options specifically regarding government assistance programs for those who qualify, such as Medicare and Medicaid, as well as other state and local resources. When you're financially struggling, it's extremely hard to juggle everything. But if you are somehow able to continue your routine dental cleanings and exams every six months, it's similar to getting oil changes on your car, right? Keeping everything stable gives you a less chance of surprises that will cost you lots more money in the future. So I hope this list of cost-effective dental care will help you find a way to keep up with your routine dental appointments and help save you money in the long run and save the health of your teeth, mouth, and overall body. Again, everything is linked in the description box. Please like and subscribe and turn on your notifications. And until next time, I'll see you on Instagram at Teeth Talk Girl. Peace, love, and teeth.